In the year study we investigated uh, uh, a new diagnostic algorithm for patients with suspected pulmonary embolism and it starts with ordering a D-dimer test and then you have to score three items which are the presence of signs of deep vein thrombosis, uh, hemoptysis and whether you think pulmonary embolism is the most likely diagnosis. And in case none of these items are present, you can use a D-dimer threshold of 1000 instead of the 500 we use today. And in case uh, of one or more of the year's items are present, you can use a D-dimer threshold of 500. And in case of a, a D-dimer concentration below the threshold, you have excluded pulmonary embolism. And in the other cases, you have to order a CT scan. In the current algorithms, you have to start with the assessment of the clinical probability, for which you have to use uh, uh, the Bell's rule or the revised Geneva score, which consists of seven to nine items with all different weighting. And we use only three items with the same weight of one. Um, and in our algorithm, we use a D-dimer test in all patients, which is only used in patients with a low clinical probability in the standard algorithm. Um, that are the main differences. The CT scan is the recommended uh, non-invasive diagnostic test to diagnose pulmonary embolism. But the disadvantages are the radiation exposure and the need for intravenous contrast, which is associated with um, uh, contrast-induced nephropathy and allergic reactions. And also a CT scan uh, costs money. So therefore it's important to reduce the number of CT scans. The key finding is that the year's algorithm is able to exclude pulmonary in a safe way and to reduce the number of CT scans by up to 14 percent. The limitation of the D-dimer threshold is that you have to find uh, the optimal uh, threshold in order to exclude pulmonary embolism in the largest proportion of patients possible without losing or missing any diagnosis of pulmonary embolism.